Hello, welcome back. Today we're talking about pitching warm-up and what you should be doing before the game to properly warm up, make sure you're healthy, and make sure you throw as hard as you can. Let's get started. first part of your warm-up is your purpose like what are you going out to do what are you trying to accomplish so most of the time or in this in this scenario we're going to be talking about warming up pre-game so our purpose is to get ready for a game get ready to compete get ready to compete at the highest level that we can and so that's our purpose so keeping that in mind everything that we're going to do following that is going to be getting you ready for the game if it doesn't get you ready for the game then it's not relevant and we don't want it in there. You're no longer practicing. You're not refining any skills. You're warming up to go compete, go play in the game. So the first component of our warm up, we want to increase our heart rate. So what the idea is that we're going to get our body ready and recognize that we're going to go be athletic and we're going to move it's we're going to exercise we're going to strain our body um, in order to compete so we're going to increase the heart rate to wake everything up get good positive blood flow um, we want to supply lots of blood to the muscles so it's bringing all those nutrients and the oxygen and everything that we need to have everything firing properly we're going to wake our brain up and say hey like we're doing something fun here um, we're doing something athletic here wake up uh, pay attention and we're going to try to get everything going. So when we're increasing the heart rate, um, it can be anything from biking to sprints to jogs. We just want to increase the heart rate. I mean, jumping jacks, it doesn't matter. Um, one thing that's preferential to me is when we're warming up um, and we're getting that heart rate rolling, I don't want it to be strenuous, um, meaning, you know, we're not building um, like aerobic capacity or anything we're, we're not, we shouldn't be breathing hard bent over feeling like we're gonna throw up we're not training we're not conditioning we're warming up to compete in the game so that might look like 20 jumping jacks uh, three sprints um, something to get the heart rate going um, it might be two foul pole foul pole jogs it might be something along those lines. It's going to be a little bit different for everybody so that we um, are ready to go compete. The next part, so once we've got our heart rate going, now's the time to go stretch, go do your traditional um, loosening up things, you know, stretch your hamstrings, uh, you know, the old shoulder across the chest, above the head, and things like that. Um, that's your time to go do that. Um, so go stretch, go hit all those um, different points that um, is going to get you loose and ready to go play. Also in this whole stretching um, routine, you can also do some uh, release practices. So meaning you take a lacrosse ball or a baseball or tennis ball or you know something round um, a foam roller anything like that and you can work out some tighter spots so you know if you're uh, sore in your shoulder that day or it feels really tight maybe you take a lacrosse ball and you lay on the ground and kind of roll that out or you know your back is a little stiff and you get a foam roller and you roll your back out um, this is the time to do that as well in addition to your stretches. The next phase of our warm up is our activation. So we've already increased our heart rate, we've rolled out any tight spots, and we've stretched. Um, so we're doing pretty good. We should have a little bit of a sweat going right now. 
Um, and then in this activation phase, we should have a stretch. By the time we're done with this next phase, be sweating. Um, we want our body ready to go. Don't be worn out. Um, that's definitely a key. Be sweating though. We want that body ready to go and compete optimally um, so you can throw harder, throw healthier, um, make sure everything is really, really ready to go. So for that activation phase, this is going to be your bands. Um, if you throw driveline plyo balls, if you um, do a shoulder tube, this is the phase that you do that. So for me personally, in my activation phase, I'm gonna do uh, my Jaeger bands, and then I'm going to do my shoulder tube in this phase and get activated. So once I've done those two things, um, some other ideas you could do uh, like kettlebell swings. You can do um, anything kind of considered more like a lift movement. You can do like squats or lunges or push-ups um, are really good. I like push-ups, things like that. Um, to get your body ready to fire now. So we've increased our heart rate, we've stretched and we're loose enough, now we're getting the body ready to fire and activate those muscles quickly and be explosive. So that's why those lift movements are valuable. So like, like I said, the push-ups, the squats, I do bands and my shoulder tube. Now we're sweating. Our body's activated, we're ready to go. Okay, now we're gonna move into the more sport specific part of our warm up. So, for baseball players, that's going to be the throwing dynamic part. Um, once we're gonna go throw, huge emphasis on warming up to throw here and not throwing to warm up. So, we don't. We, all of this stuff that we just got done doing should have warmed our body up to throw the baseball. So we should be ready to go and comfortable at throwing close to 80, if not 100%, right out of the gate. That's how ready your body should be. Um, and not rolling out there doing a couple arm swings and throwing to warm up where you need 15, 20 throws before you're ready um, to put any intent behind the ball. We wanna be ready to go, going into our throwing so the throws that we do make can be optimized and like we're using all those throws um, to our advantage and to get better and to um, get ready for the game in this scenario. When we're in the sports specific part, it also includes your driveline plyo balls or any other type of throwing, whether you do um, different throwing drills, you break down your throw into segments and put it all together. Um, any accuracy drills, things like that. Um, specifically for being game ready, um, I would keep it very simple. Um, it's not about mechanics anymore. It's about competing and getting people out, especially as a pitcher. So it's more about getting ready to go compete than it is be like fixing something mechanically. So it's gonna be simple driveline throwing to get the arm moving and rolling um, in the proper sequencing. And then once you pick up a baseball, like I said, you should be ready to throw it pretty hard. Um, that doesn't mean you have to or should. Um, everyone's throwing progression is kind of different. Um, so, but your body should be ready to do that is, is the point. So when you pick up a baseball, go, th go do your throwing, um, and then w always with the intent right now to go get ready for the game. That was our whole point of this warm up, um, and some of the points of emphasis or the huge points of value will change as that initial purpose changes. So if you're getting ready for practice, or if you're getting ready to throw on an off day, or something like that these things will change, these points of emphasis will change, um, and your attention to what details will also change. But we're getting ready for a game, so our throwing will be game ready. We're gonna practice all of our pitches. Um, flat ground, typically, we're gonna long toss maybe, 
Um, we're going to do things like that to get our bodies ready to go pitch in that game. Now, this certainly pertains to starters only. Um, if you throw in the bullpen, you're, you're, you can go through this routine, and I would recommend going through this routine. Uh, pre-game, if you throw pre-game uh, like we do in pro ball, so for example, I would do all of this stuff pre-game, a few hours before the game, and I do my throwing. That's when I get my long toss, my drill work, all that stuff in. That's when I would do this. I don't have the luxury of doing that in the game because I'm a bullpen pitcher. So what happens is they call my name and say, hey, you, like we're gonna put you in the game soon. So I don't have the time luxury to go through all of this. So I would do this pre-game or um, kind of whenever I would have time. If you're a starting pitcher, this would be your routine going into the game, into your start. Um, so a little insight on that. And then just adjust it a little bit to whatever your scenario is. It doesn't always have to be super perfect, which is why I mentioned like the several different exercises and stuff that you can do, like w depending on what ball field you are at. So maybe, you know, they don't have a fence that you can hook your bands into. Well, you know, find something else that you can easily replace that part if that's absolutely essential to you. All right, so now you have a really good idea on how to warm up and just keep in note that it's going to be different for everyone and the different things that you need to do to get ready and feel your best are going to be a little bit different than what I do and what I do is going to be different from everyone else that I play with or have talked to. So have the freedom to kind of change and find that sweet spot and what gets you ready to optimally compete and then just go from there and use it and keep building and keep building. Um, but use this as a template uh, to help you optimize your game.